Let's go and spread the message of African unity. Because the unity of Africa is a unity of black people. And the enemy doesn't want to see black people united. I want to make a clarion call to my brother and the president of Rwanda not to engage in what he's trying to do of a modern slavery. President Paul Kagame is one of the respected leaders in our continent. But what he's doing with the United Kingdom, saying there will be an exchange of immigrants to, from United Kingdom to Rwanda, and then they will give him money. That is a modern exchange of slavery. I want to make a clarion call to my brother and the president of Rwanda not to engage in what he's trying to do of a modern slavery. President Paul Kagame is one of the respected leaders in our continent. But what he's doing with the United Kingdom, saying there will be an exchange of immigrants to from United Kingdom to Rwanda and then they will give him money. That is a modern exchange of slavery. It reminds us of painful times of slavery. And President Kagame, we are making a call for you to relook into that decision. You cannot exchange immigrants who majority are Africans and blacks for money. Our people can no longer be for sale. No one must ever think that for a second I can trade a human being. We are making a plea. If there is a home for those migrants, President Kagame, go and fetch them in the United Kingdom and bring them to Rwanda for free. Let us not do what uh, the colonizers want us to do. UK has never respected us and it will never respect us, but it is our leaders who allow these people to do what they are doing. Those of you who are relatives of King Muswati in Swaziland, you must tell him you will never know peace for as long as there is no democracy in Swaziland. The EFF is going to fight until the people of Swaziland realize their freedom. We are not free as long as Swaziland is not free. The day Swaziland becomes free, we will be free. The day Swaziland celebrates its freedom day, we will also celebrate our freedom day. When you say freedom for you, what about the people of Swaziland? Remember, the people of Swaziland fight along, alongside the people of Swaziland because we are Swaziland and Swaziland is us. We are one thing. Zano PF has destroyed what was a promising land of Zimbabwe and the current leader of Zimbabwe is clueless like the South African leader. They are the same like their twins. So the people of Zimbabwe, we want to make a plea. Please, when you are here in South Africa, don't worry, you are at home. But when there are elections at home, go there in your numbers. Go and vote and remove that nonsense that is happening in Zimbabwe. And come back if you want to come back. You cannot just fold your hands. The people of Zimbabwe must rise here in South Africa and go and vote for a proper government in Zimbabwe. If they want to come back, they are welcome, no problem. But let's help each other so that there is a proper government in Zimbabwe and will bring a proper government in South Africa. We become one big family. Let's not be comfortable. 
and think no all is well eh, as long as we are in south africa uh -uh. let's not forget as zimbabweans that we've got a duty at home to deliver a progressive government that will respect human rights that will make sure the economy of zimbabwe grows that will make sure it defeats poverty and unemployment because a progressive and developing zimbabwe is a solution to the problems of south africa so we want to help africans who are helping themselves we need to challenge the police to be fit and proper they must be healthy they must have healthy bodies so that they can have healthy minds of fighting crime not only in mamilodi in sunnyside in hillbro and everywhere else where drugs have become fashionable we must go and fight those drugs and the drug dealers we don't care of their nationality a criminal it's a criminal whether from nigeria or zimbabwe or south africa you are a criminal and you must be treated as such we need to protect our women because they are being killed they are being raped in their own households where they're supposed to be safe this freedom will never be celebrated by any woman because south africa has declared war against women freedom means that we must all be equal and therefore the question should be are we equal if the answer is no therefore there is no freedom freedom means equality not only of gender between black and white and uh, you need to ask the question are black people and white people equal if the answer is no therefore there is no freedom because equality will mean that we must own the land of south africa equally we must own the economy of south africa equally but the way things are we do not own more than 10 percent of the land of our ancestors our land is owned by those who came here as visitors and then they now impose on us the so-called freedom when the revolution started in south africa we never demanded to vote the revolution was started by the land question it was not started by voting because once we own the land voting was an automatic thing now they give us some useless passerby thing called voting and they say you've got what you have been fighting for no one went to prison for us to vote they went to prison for us to reclaim the land and own the land once you are the owner of the land what is voting it's automatic let's go and spread the message of african unity because the unity of africa is a unity of black people and the enemy doesn't want to see black people united the unity of africa offends them therefore we must make sure that we unite the continent of there you have it guys julius malema is usually full of these revolutionary speeches sometimes you wonder where he gets them from but whatever the case is we really hope that his wisdom transcends you know and really contributes to the development of africa and in helping solving africa's really my right of challenges but what do you guys think about his speech share your thoughts in the comments thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video please share and like and subscribe because that's the way you support quasami as a channel an afrocentric channel uh, where we try to understand um, deeper issues in african history
and hopefully develop um, a collective intelligence on how we wish to build the Africa we want to see as people of Africa. See you in the next one.